Hey guys, it's Jonathan Malm here. I'm one of the writers of The Comeback Effect along with my friend Jason Young. And I wanted to just say a few more words about volunteers and significance within the organization, especially at your church. You know, a lot of times, unfortunately, I believe churches see volunteers as a means to an end. We prioritize the guest and we use our volunteers to achieve something for the guest. So to make the guest feel welcome, we just use volunteers for that. And consequently, volunteers can, can easily feel like cogs in a wheel of the machine of church, where their whole purpose is just to serve a function. And it's easy to lose some of the significance of what volunteering does for a volunteer. Because the thing is, you know, your volunteers, people at your church, they love your church. If they're volunteering, they've experienced, experienced something profound from your church. They've experienced something that, that they want to be able to be a part of. So maybe they've experienced life change or they've experienced just feeling belonging like they've never experienced before. And they want to be a part of making that happen. So a volunteer, they, they sign up saying, I want to do that. I want to, I want to have a place in ministry. I want to have a place of significance at my church. And what a tragedy if we're just using them. We're just saying, ah, yeah, fulfill your function, and then you're done with us. We can't afford to do that. I would, I would love to encourage you to start seeing your volunteers in a different way. Instead of seeing them as, as a means to an end, I want you to start seeing volunteering as a means to an end for your volunteers. You know, volunteering can actually be a part of the spiritual formation for your volunteers. You can actually help a person grow by having them volunteer in your church and in your organization. And I think that changes a lot about the way we approach leading volunteers if we start seeing them that way. We're no longer, um, them not showing up, it's no longer about what we need, but it's about something that they need to work on in their lives. So whenever we encourage them, hey, you know, you gotta show up for this commitment, it's not because suddenly we're put at a deficit, but because we know that it's going to lead to better things in their life if they show up on time. Or if we have to fire a volunteer, which yes, you can fire a volunteer. If you have to fire a volunteer, it's no longer about them not fulfilling a purpose within your church, but it's about them not fulfilling the purpose they need to fill in their life. And you can help them. Sometimes firing is one of the best things that can happen to someone because it shows them, listen, we're not gonna, we're not gonna put up with this junk that you're doing. Like you gotta learn, it's a consequence. It's kind of a, a punishment that God can then use to be a part of spiritual formation of their life. Or um, training. Training is no longer just about what they can do for your church, but training is about investing in their life. So you can start training beyond just Sunday morning where, hey, yeah, I know you're running sound, but we wanna train you in, in a way that's going to help you in your everyday life. It's going to help you minister to others. We can change our approach to volunteering that way. So I wanna encourage you, see volunteering as a part of spiritual formation, not just as a means to an end. You know, me and my friend Jason Young, we wrote about this a lot in our, in our recent book, The Volunteer Effect. I would love you to pick it up. It's available everywhere books are sold, an audiobook, ebook, physical book. Grab a copy and really see how you can lead your volunteers to the next level.